Hello, everybody. I am Moldy World, and this is Unepic. I saw this game on Steam a while back and put it on my wish list and forgot about it until recently when it was on sale for just a couple of bucks. And I figured I'd try it out. And I should probably turn the sound down. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Can't have it too high. Not when I'm recording with my old ways. Because OBS doesn't want to work with this game for some reason. There's always that random game that doesn't want to work with OBS. I guess I'll start a new game. Choose name for your character. Choose widely as it can't be changed la later. Okay. I'll just enter Moldy Fucking West because I can't think of any random bullshit name to put in that would be hilarious. So... Okay. Eh, medium. I know how games works. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two hmm. skeletons with rusty axes... Voice acting. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Oh, I swing my giant are dick. Are you shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. <laughs> yes, it does. Moron. The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside and let it cool air through. I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures. Roll a d20. <laughs> a blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! <laughs> Cut! Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile. You hear a click, and a spear springs up just under your feet. Fuck, I sprung a trap. <laughs> I got a saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? <laughs> huh, fucking beer! <laughs> the hall, fucking door, beer. Switches outside. I think I'm going to like this game. Bastards, you switched off the light. I'm peeing in here. Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the dark. <laughs> Fuck, I can't see anything. What the hell? Where's the toilet? I don't get it. I was just peeing in it. Oops. I think I just pissed on the floor. <laughs> if I could find the door. The true way to piss. This is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. Hmm. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh dear, he got sucked into D and D. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter in your inventory. Once you find it, select the equip option. <laughs> to open and close the inventory, press inventory. But I'm using a controller. If you pause the game to go to the bathroom, make sure you bring a lighter with you. You never know when you're going to need it. Okay, there we go. T-shirt and jeans, lighter, equip. Ooh, neat. Can barely see anything. What is this? Stone walls, columns, darkness. Where the hell am I? You're in D and D, you idiot. What's this? There's something ahead. It looks like. Holy shit! A skeleton. A skeleton. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking a nap. I could see her as a skeleton. <laughs> or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. Who is Chester Copperpot? Ow. Ow, to trap. It hit my leg. It hurts like hell. Now. Hmm. Yep, trapped. Definitely trapped. Jump over it. And why is these layouts down, like, blocking the, my view of the thing? The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Hmm. And I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Or okay. something like that. drugs working, I get to be the <laughs> player in my own RPG. Cool. I'll compete against myself, even if I've never been a dungeon master. Hmm. Yeah, whatever shit they put in my beer is really amazing. <laughs> I draw a map so I don't get lost. It's always a good idea to draw a map. To see the map. 
You can place press map, map M or triangle, button. which is a dot button. I got Y button, and that's the map. So, all right, let air. There we go. Not sure why I didn't use it the first time I pressed up. And yeah, just maps of each individual room. Hmm. It seems there's nothing over here. Perhaps I can find, yes, another way to go out of the room. That's what we need. Hey, don't want to drop down. That would be bad. Hmm, hold on a second. I need to check options and stuff, see if there's a way of getting this damn thing a little bit smaller. Ah, there we go. There is a way to shrink the panels down. There we go. Now I can see... Thank you. Like we have a guest, and he is unarmed. Uh, Can I have a weapon no, or something? No, no, no. I was just leaving. Of course not. Let me offer you. So I can't leave. Good. Um, hey, I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. What? I'd rather not have that. No! Okay. So scary. That shadow thing. At me. Wait a minute. Where did it go? Into your body. It's not possible. There is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice hmm. inside of me. Holy shit! I've been possessed. <laughs> I can't escape. I am trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh. I'm possessed. I'm possessed. Why the hell do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul. I can gain control of its body, and I can do whatever pleases me. Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it, you some bitch? <laughs> Fuck you. Stupid creature. I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. We'll just yeah, see about whatever. that. In a couple of hours, the drug will wear off anyway. So, you don't scare me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, if only there were more light. I'd very much like to see what exactly is going on here. And I am very much enjoying this game. In days of yore, they were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. Hmm. I might need to turn up the volume a little bit. Alright. Now you should be able to hear the game a bit better. Ooh, a sword. Hey, a sword. Now then. Finally. It must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, hmm. Dark Smoke guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. <laughs> Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid, thou would know that I have no body and no weapon can harm me. But well, good for you. In video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. A world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Uh, shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. To collect the sword, get close to it and press. Yeah, I get the idea. A short sword. So, do I gotta equip that too? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hurting ghosts with swords only works if that sword is enchanted. That is, if it's an Elder Scrolls Look game. At all this loot! I'm rich! Gold is, what, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console. Jeez, I'm an idiot. This is all a hallucination, damn it. It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Indeed. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Can't argue yeah. with that logic. Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes. Shine. Oh, I think it's a tramp. If you wish to collect part of the treasure, stand over it and press at. Yeah, I get it. No, it's a trap. I'm smarter than that. Go back. Thou left your coins. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, 
Shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press <laughs> menu to open the menu and access to all its options. Yes, I kind of figured that out already. Now, is does this game auto-save or what? I think it said it did when I was selecting the difficulty. Got a big old map going on there. I uh, should be... I'm not sure if I should have grabbed that gold or not. I think oh, it's a trap. A snake. It's enormous. Shit, that motherfucker's as tall as me. Uh -huh. Press attack to attack. Edged weapons like swords are especially effective against living creatures. Yeah, and I get the idea that I'll need some... Ha! You can't hit me. Snake? Snake! Ha! A Going chest. for that reference, are There's you? Chest. There's loot. Press... Yes, I get the idea. Loot the chest. A mace. That'll be useful against skeletons, I assume. Hmm. hmm. There are some barrels here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. That logic Maces checks out. Axes are super effective against solid objects or armored monsters. Swords, daggers. Yeah, I get the idea. Mace. Tutorials are always nice. Arrows. I will be needing those if I ever acquire a bow. Eh, can I break this busted up barrel? No, no, I cannot. And I think I'm going to switch back to my sword because I like swords better than other stuff. Use to light. Uh, use to light and turn pot. Uh huh. I assume that's a marijuana joke, as it is usually referred to as pot. So, we got more shit to do. Onward. N -n 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 more snakes. Snake. Let's make some snake steaks. I don't think you want to. Without having to open the inventory, you can assign a quick key in your inventory by clicking the item, selecting a. Okay, so hotkeys that I don't feel like figuring out right now. Onward. Hmm. That looks like a big drop. Gonna get hurt, am I? Okay, no fall damage. Ooh, a bow. Nice. Ranged attacks are good. All right, torch. Give me light, motherfucker. Is that all the light I get? Can I carry that around instead of the lighter? Could probably be better to carry a bigger torch. Ooh. Hope that Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. Yeah. Simon Belmont does have a nasty habit of knocking out flames to get hearts hey, and Smokey Dude, what's your name? I have no name. How's that work? The hmm. lord of this castle has no name? How do you know he's a lord? Mistaken. I am not the lord of this ha, castle. Told you. I am a shadow, and my task is to protect this place. You're just a minion. One of those one hit point wonders. Yeah. If I had a pinch of the immense power of my lord, I could destroy you just like that. Well, Shadow Guy, this castle and your master are figments of my imagination. Let's say that I am the great creator of everything. And in a while, everything will disappear, and then no one will have to be destroyed just like that. You, <laughs> a pathetic creature of meat and bone. The creator of everything. <laughs> Are you a liar or a fool? Whatever, but I'm gonna give you a name. Names mean nothing to me. Okay, Let's douche. See. What about Zero? It's what I lovingly call one of my favorite characters. Do not dare call me that. As you wish, Zero. By the way, I haven't introduced myself. I care not. I'm known as Strider, but my real name is Erathorn, <laughs> son of Erathorn. And I'm the rightful heir to the kingdom of Gondor. Damn. I don't know about that. I'm trapped in the body of a fool. Are you eh, you can do foolish? better. Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? Yes, indeed. Hmm, Mr. Shadowy Spirit, dude. I'd like it a lot better if I could actually have more light, potion of minor healing. That is gonna be good after I jabbed myself on that spear like three times. Eee, what did that do? They all sparkled. So I can it light is these things. To assign a shortcut to healing potions. Mm -hmm. To search for a potion in the middle of battle is suicide because the game is not paused when you're in the game menu. When good to you know. Use a potion, you keep the empty vials. They could be useful later. 
Also good to know. So, what should I do about the healing potion assignment? Hmm. Press K or triangle. Okay. Now, there's that. How do I... How do I assign it to a thing? Assign shortcut. There we go. L1 plus Y. There we go. Just press L1 and Y to use that potion whenever I need it. There we go. Light the torches. Crouch when near an edge to illuminate the area below. Good to know. Alright. God damn it. I landed in a goddamn bear trap. And I didn't even see it coming because it's too damn dark. Ooh. Those are spiders. Kill, kill, kill them all. Hmm. Maybe the mace would be a better solution. Mace. Yeah, that's doing damage. I guess they're like bugs or something with a hard outer shell. Not sure what that mess, that arcane essence does. Is that like a D&D &D thing that I don't know about? Ow. Fuck you, spider. I'll spider you right in the spider hole. Ooh, Healy's did. Yeah, little all, bitch. Ooh, more bugs. Perhaps I should stick to the mace then, instead of switching back to the sword that I would much rather use because I am a sword man and not a mace man. Die. Oh, damn. Alright. Didn't bother using the potion like I told you to. So, what does this mean? Alright, back to checkpoint. There we go. Got everything set to... Got my sword and mace and potions and everything set to... Uh, the shortcut down there. That makes it a lot easier to not have to switch things in the, on the fly. Die, damn you! Magic essences are used to cast spells and create potions. It is a good idea to keep these for later. Why didn't you tell me that before I died? Seriously. And did I miss a torch in here because I didn't see him go shiny? Ow. Fuck it. I don't feel like dealing with that shit. Ooh, barrels. I see barrels. I see barrels. Give me what the barrels got. Ooh, chest. Hiding behind the barrels. And it's another potion. Good. Gonna be needing that given my track record. And my mace is only doing like 10 damage to the bugs down here. So if I... Now I should be safe. Alright, so these guys don't like the sword. Blue magic essence. Alright, now we getting somewhere. Moving on up in the world, getting the blue essence. Ooh, a small sapphire. Gems are probably useful. Sell them for monies. Hmm, more essence. I likes essence. I also likes dead enemies, because enemies is assholes who need to not live. And I also need to set things on fire. Fire burns! Fire good! Is this a thing I can burn? Need a key to the sewer. That's what I need to work on that. Oh, that's a keyhole. Thought it was just a random skull. Hmm. But anyway, it's nice to have this place lit up. Tired of blundering around in the dark like an asshole. The key. Oh, God damn it! Fucking traps. Ha! You ain't stabbing me in the foot. Not again, anyway. There we go. They're all lit up. I'm not sure if I get a bonus for that. By the Ooh. gods of Cobalt. What is this thing? It's it looks a shiny. Prison. Within lies one of the pure spirits of Harnikin. There's okay. a spirit locked in that box. What, like a rival god? You're mistaken, fatuous mortal. The spirit within is under the command of the great master. Really? Hmm. Why is it locked up? Because it is bad. a pure spirit. It cannot exist in this plane. The box isolates and protects it. However, it can communicate through that beam of light. Wow, Good to know. must be an important guy. What's he do? I will not reveal that information. No? Good to know. 
Okay, I'll ask it myself. You? <laughs> Foolish mortal. He will never talk to an insignificant slug like you. Really? Hmm. We'll see. And yet you chose to bind yourself to an insignificant slug like me. So who's the real slug, shadowy guy? I will talk to that guy in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.